a spotlight video, but it's more of a of a guide on Pagnacia. You see how these guys down there? I have them set up. They're ready to go. The my main goal is just to try to get a sort of streamlined approach to getting basic what could be considered the end boss. That guy down there, Spider here. So that's gonna be my goal of this video. And for anyone who doesn't know, Pugnacia is an overhaul mod for Ark Survival Evolve. It uh, changes quite a bit. It, it um, I'm pretty sure it takes over like vanilla spawns and puts its own versions of, of that spawn. And what it does, what I like about it, is not only does it do what other mods do, which is make things bigger, stronger, faster, there's a whole lot of creativity in the mod. As you can see here, most of this stuff is Pugnesia. Some of the things that I like about it are just the utility. I really do love utility. This conflagrant Ankle, he'll cook metal. He cooked it all, so he has no more. He's a glutton. But he'll, he'll, he'll act like a forge, which is fantastic. I got some Gigantos here. This is actually a family of Gigantos that I was uh, breeding. Breeding could be uh, fun too. Um, there are things, can I write it? Yeah. That aren't necessarily, uh, you know, like meant to be powerful in any way, shape, or form. They're just kind of fun. Like this prodigious Jerboa. You can just ride them around just for the fun of it. As you can tell, the colors on this mod are fantastic. Here's some sheep and Megaloceros, which I used uh, early game, which we're going to talk about later on. We're going to talk about the strategies to get you to Spinebreaker. Um, yeah, I just want to kind of showcase the mod a little bit. Just really, like, this is only the few that I found. There's, you know, pink and red and just all kind of different vibrant colors, which I love. Um, and they have a little bit of today. I think you can milk them. These are all males. So I'm not going to milk them again. Hey, it was dark. I didn't know. But yeah, the females, I think you can milk from them. Um, this guy, this Listro still has his level up. Actually, I used it, so I can't, I can't use it again. He still has his, his level up ability, which is real nice. This guy, I don't know, maybe he, uh, still smells storm. It started storming right as I started recording the video. Isn't that just like Ark? Well, wow. the beaver. Oh, how did I, how did I not talk about my damn beaver? You tame a beaver, he'll make dams like wild beavers do. But he'll do it for you. Like that sort of creativity and utility and fun and color is why I like Pugnacia so much. It's always my my first mod. Well, for for recent months, I've been playing for months, uh, so I'm kind of an intermediate. I'm gonna call myself an expert. Intermediate and oh, it's getting darker. But I'm doing this live. I'm doing this while I'm streaming, so I'm not gonna cut and wait we're gonna we're gonna go go along with it uh some more utility dinos this guy acts as a camp bench you can uh, increase crafting speed so he'll actually craft faster and faster and we're talking like ridiculous ridiculous amount of uh speed on it that you could do it um for example this guy makes artifacts you put him on a wander he makes artifacts for you he this guy makes cementy paste and organic polymer again just put him on and you can write him See, so there's a little bit of, of fun and uh, utility with, with some dinos. Some of them are purely for fun, some of them are purely for utility. Um, these guys, we're going to talk about their Nightmare Pegasus, and I have them down there. We're going to talk about them when we get to that, that point of the video, which we probably shouldn't take too much time. But yeah, um, some mods that I also recommend along with Pugnacia, if you guys are thinking about it, things that will help you along. One, the super spyglass. This helps you see points that wild uh, dinos have spent. As you can see, this unicorn, you can see like all the different st statistics. Like the very first one, you see it's stamina. It has 191. That's how many points it spent in the wild. And then zero is how many points that I put into it. So I think that's a really fantastic tool that you could use. Um, it works for health too. It's, it's the red bar in case it, everything looks different. Um, but what really I want it for in, in this video is just so you can see how much torpor something has. Because that's going to be important in deciding what method 
you use to to tame anything really. And uh, so speaking of taming stuff, wait, we haven't finished with the mod. Let's finish with the mods. Another mod that I like is the upgrade station, uh, because trying to tame modded dinos with vanilla equipment isn't going to cut it. So there's no, I mean, I mean there is like modded rifles and modded bows and what have you, but you could make do with this upgrade station, uh, and I like it because you could get a bow that you just make a primitive bow. Use this uh, station, put it in here with all your, your various materials that you would need to upgrade in. The, th the things you need to upgrade are the exact same materials that you uh, would originally use to make that item. So yeah, you could. it also counts as a... Uh, God, what is that? The, that one machine that... the grinder, industrial grinder. So you can salvage items too. But you upgrade it and it will take you through the different tiers, you know, journeyman, mastercraft, whatever, up to ascend it. And you need those so you can keep up with the amount of torpor and health that modded dinos have. And it pretty much just takes your time and resources and effort and you convert that. The otter, did he just poop on me? Yeah, the otter on my shoulder just pooped on me, but I mean, that's arc. Um, have you seen people do that in real life with like birds and rats? Let me just get put on. Okay. Yeah, I get sidetracked a lot. It wouldn't be a, a sole video if I'm not being waylaid every 12 seconds. So that's why I like this mod to complement any any mod. It, not just Pugnatia, but any sort of overhaul mod. Um, what's the other one? The pickup mod. Let me put this guy down. Because you could normally pick him up. So that's not going to be something that um, would showcase this mod. It, it is a pickup mod. Um, sorry, you Anki, you, you'll do, you'll do. Um, you can pick up any dino on your shoulder, which is, I like it for this mod, be, uh, because it's really nice for a single player. Can I put you down? Put him down. And if, if you want to use it, it's just, you make this matrix, really easy, basic stuff, thatch, wood, stone, who knows, really easy stuff. You can make it like a level two or whatever. And you put it in their, in their inventory and you consume it and it's a toggle so if I were to consume it now it would turn it off because I, I already have it on it puts this option to pick up any dino so it's a toggle if I use it again it'll take this off then I'd have to use it again to put it back on etc but for single player I like it because you don't always have like multiplayer will have multiple people on multiple dinos and they can all control them you by yourself are very limited in, in that aspect. So you putting something on your shoulder, they will attack with you. If you put them on neutral or aggressive, they will attack with you. So it's like an extra extra sort of DPS that you can have that you will you, know, you kind of may need or you may not. And we'll talk about that too. But it is very handy, so I'm recommending that mod as well. Uh, did I miss one? Dino Aid is handy. Dino Aid... Just to show you, you can craft it here. It's not very hard to make. Mayo berries and, and a rare mushroom. And this will fill your dino completely to full in uh, a second. You know, just whatever time it takes to activate. Not a second, you know, split second, whatever. And Pugnatia have their own. So it's not like necessary. It's not crucial. I can I, I actually can't craft it in here. <laughs> but it takes more materials. But you can live with it. Like by the time you're thinking of actually using this seriously when you get dinos that have like 100,000 health or more and this will be worth it you can make this easily but dino aid is is just like a simpler way to do it, it that one i definitely not necessary but i, I figured i'd mention that so those are some of the the mods that i would use along with pugnation to kind of help you along and they complement each other very well uh, in a way of speaking so now let me look at my notes real quick. I think we're just going to go straight to fast tracking, which is basically the meat of this this uh, video. Things to look for. Strategy. Items. What's the best, fastest, most efficient, easiest, etc., etc., however you want to put it, way to get a boss? Because, I mean, that's kind of the end game for one, just one aspect of Pugnatia. This is just one sort of play style for Pugnatia. 
I don't recommend you guys just do this and then think it's done. Like there's nothing left to do in Final Fantasy. Like uh, just tame anything and try it out. You might find something fun with it. It's it's really creative. So I, I definitely don't uh, recommend just thinking this is the only way to play Pugnacia and once you get Spy Maker that the game's over and you can play another mod because you're done with it. Um, so that, that might be a warning too, like just take your time, have fun with it. But while you're out there fun, playing fun with it, if you're trying to get a Spy Maker for yourself, I want to try to show you just through my experience of playing tons of it and starting over and just finding different combinations that have worked for me maybe you can employ employ this so let's talk early game early game these are the guys that you're going to be looking for this is an example okay i, I can't i couldn't i mean I, I guess i could have but i really didn't want to spend too much time going out there collecting just you know 50 different dinos that are good for your early game um something that i, I may want to mention here is pugnacia has a uh i guess different way to go about um i guess empowering your dino uh other mods may have a dino which is like here's your power version here's your poison version here's your speed version here's your harvest version also known like the, the health version right in pugnacia you can choose how you want to build your dino so if i want to make this gigantopithecus my speed version just watch its movement speed one point is like 30 about so i could give him 200 percent movement speed in what four or five uh stat points so i could continue and make him my speed giganto if i put it in health he has about twenty thousand now this gave him thirty thousand it's about ten thousand per tick that's a good chunk i could make him a you know pretty tanky giganto because if that's what i wanted same thing with damage. It's going to go up a good amount. 6,000, 8,000, 2,000 per tick. Uh, you want a weight dino? Not a problem. So you get to choose where you want to put it. So anything you tame, you could make it a speed version. You could make it a power version, a health version. Um, the only thing you can't do is make it a poison version. Because that's... I'm only talking about what you can do with your stats. Actually, okay... This guy is also very good early game, but I put him over here on his own little pedestal because he also does torpor. So early game, I, these guys are good. A lot of herbivores, I don't want to say every single herbivore, but a lot of herbivores are passive teams, which means you could just walk up to them and feed them their preferred food or kibble, um, vegetables, if that's it. Uh, and some of these guys are really really powerful if you see one of these guys these this is a special spe special it's like special glacial it's a spatial um pachyrhinosaurus it does the same thing that other pachyrhinosaurus do right they do the, the clouds and i don't think i could do the other one maybe cool down but it has this attack a lightning attack and that's only with glacials glacials will have special attacks uh, i'll show you with that guy he's a glacial allosaurus he's more difficult to tame so he's not in the early game section like you actually have to be able to knock him out these guys you don't have to knock out you just have to be of the correct level i think this guy's i don't i don't even remember what this guy like level 30 or 20. i was surprised at how how high level you have to be to tame this guy but it's not bad this guy i think it is level 30. but they if you put points into health and, and speed and, and uh, melee you could make them into a pretty good pretty good uh, battle mount so early game try to get yourself herbivores by passive team get a lot of them they will uh act like a pack and keep you safe um once you get into mid game you're gonna want to get uh carnivores because that those are the ones that most people would identify with you know a battle mount a carnivore but you cannot passive tame those you're gonna have to knock them out so things that you can start off with to knock stuff out, very easy is this guy. I think this guy didn't have a level requirement. Like at level 1, you can get this guy. And in vanilla, they're not great. But this is Pugnacia. So now, 12,000, 19,000, 26, 34,000, 50,000 health. You're, you're going to be pretty tanky. 
damage goes up good uh, speed will go up good weight goes up everything goes up so you can make this guy a really tanky guy right 84,000 and he does his you, you want to be in this video oh he does the charge attack but charge attack doesn't work against small animals okay you kill it he, he didn't have enough health but he will do quite a bit of uh, torpor I don't know if I actually want to go and test that out there's an R2 unit that's from the Star Wars mod but just um, they do a good amount of torpor um, it's almost like double the damage they do which is good but it's also bad if you want to tame something that has low health and high torpor you might end up killing it but early game you want one of these you can take one of these and tame these other guys Oh, I already had a pecky. I have two peckies. This guy is a perfect team one too. Okay, I didn't even know I have. Um, but yeah, that's why you want them. The Carno, if you can get him, the headbutt attack will also do torpor. I'm pretty sure you'll just kill the dodo. But that might be a good dodo. Yeah, you killed it. R2, R2 doesn't have torpor. They, they're just like little. They're just like uh, critters. Um, but yeah, that headbutt will do torpor. And they're also not that difficult to tame, but just keep in mind that they also do torpor to you. These guys, passive tame. But if you're gonna passive tame them without special kibble, and we'll talk about the special kibble, you have to go through the whole process of t the way you tame an Equus. But once you do, if you go through that, this guy is, is a, uh, yeah, I know, I stopped in the middle to talk about this guy. He's not a passive tame, you have to knock him out. But he doesn't have that much torpor. He has 24,000, which is really not that much, not in the modded sense. Both of these guys will do a torpor attack with their hind kick. Um, see, I kind of want to show you the torpor, but like, there's really no way to do it. Uh, unless there's like wild dinos walking through here that who could like take a shot. Basically, where I can show you the torpor without them dying. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. If you get this guy. Pump with health. I think I already did. He's I already did some, so he's already over a hundred thousand. Um, the saddle, upgrade the saddle with the upgrade station, and he could tank a, a good amount. You may be able to use him to tame a Giga, which we will talk about pretty soon. So early game, get yourself one of these. Very, they could be very powerful. They could be very good mid game battle mounts. Um, if you use the pickup mod. You can combine them. You can put this guy on your shoulder and ride this guy, or vice versa. So mid game, you're gonna be right there in in competition with any of these other like mid games uh, dinos that I kind of want to suggest. This guy I put right here in the middle because he does everything. He has a ton of utility. He harvests wood, thatch, fiber like a regular Therizino. He's a zombie which is a, a special category in Pugnesia. Um I think one thing I didn't mention is the regen rate in, for Pugnacia Dinos is is really high. So if you get hurt, you just wait till you're out of combat and it'll regen re really, really quick. Like, really quick. You're like, you could visibly see your health go pretty, pretty fast. Um, that's disabled for zombies, but they gain the ability to basically lifesteal. They heal for half the damage that they do and for a battle mount that could be very very strong so that's why I put this guy in the middle he could be a really really strong battle mount because their Xenos already hit pretty hard but they could also be a very, very good gatherer um, the Elsor is a specialty dino he's a glacial we'll talk about him but I want to talk about trikes I don't have a normal vanilla trike so I want to talk about this trike if this guy is a normal vanilla trike He'll do the same thing all other tracks do, gather berries, but he also gathers stone and he gathers fiber. And he's passive tame and he has a knockback and you can build him as a battle tank. Everything you need. So if you, I don't, I don't remember what level you need, like level 20 or something. If you see a track, you're level 20 and it's a pretty good level, like just get that and you're in, you're in a good spot to, to get to the next um sort of uh, crossroads. I call it a crossroads. There's, there's two ways that you could go to get yourself a spy break and we're going to talk about both of them. 
and they both start with getting a dino, a battle dino basically, that could withstand enough damage to start taming the next tier of dinos, which is over here. All these guys, these guys are primals. I don't have a primeval, I killed it. I'll, well, I didn't kill it, I used it. You have to sacrifice a primeval to get Spinebreaker. So, the one that I had, I used it to get Spinebreaker, but um, when we, well, I guess we get to now, a primeval is just the next tier up from primals. These are all primals. It's like, um, you know, upgraded version of their vanilla counterpart. Some of them have you more utility. Like, I feel like I should just talk about them now. Well, let's recap. So mid game, you get yourself something like a trike, a therizino. Um, if you can get one of these, they summon raptors for you. That's that. This is a special ability only for glacial allosaurs, and these raptors are not. Um, what's the word? Weak. I wanted to be a lot more creative, but they do ton. They can do ton. Um, it depends on the level. Their level is uh, variable. If you get a high level raptor, they can do like a hundred thousand, which which is a lot, and you get three of them. Oh, that's them dying. Yeah, they despawn. They're minions, so you get those. You're like in mid game, and you need mid game, so you can kill one of these. Not exact. This is it says conflagrant rex, but that's because that's what this is. But I put a costume on it. I didn't mean to write it. Take this costume off. That's what it normally looks like, a complaining Rex. This guy does have utility, he makes jerky. So if like, we put meat in here, he'll make jerky. You know what's funny? If I put bacon in here, it makes prime meat jerky. But like, I'd rather have the bacon. Right? Again, you can make him into a really, really, really good battle mount. That's already 200,000 health right there. S speed, melee, crafting speed. Alright! He has a crafting speed. This will mess you up too. Like, you're so used to be the last one being moving speed. That's what I thought it was when I was first putting it in here. But they have an additional crafting skill because they they could actually craft and they'll be able to cook meat faster. So depending on the conflagrant, you can increase the speed at which they do it. But I put the uh, the costume on so you can see. You want to be able to kill these guys because they drop a kibble called I think it's just called instant kibble here instant golden kibble it's found on killing the rare ancient t-rex and that's what these guys look like ancient t-rex and you use the kibble to tame primals 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 it's a tier of dino that you could only tame with that kibble so now you can see how there's like a sense of progression here you need to get out of the early game by taming these guys Easy herbivores, but you can beef them up. You get these guys to help you knock stuff out. Speaking of knocking stuff out, um, items. You have your bows, crossbows, guns. Um, I was gonna show you like the difference in torpor that you, that it makes, but that may take too much time. Like, and I think it's pretty obvious. Like everybody knows an ascendant is going to do more damage than a primitive. And torpor is a ratio of damage. So if torpor is like, you know, twice the amount of damage you would do, then obviously an ascendant would also do twice the amount of whatever that ascendant would do. So that's why the upgrade station is, like I feel, is necessary. Maybe not necessary, but it's very, very handy. It's very complementary to any mods, like I've said. So one thing you can do, I don't think you can do it with the card. I'm going to show you guys. You can combo. Yeah, you can do it with him. You can combo your attack. This guy, like I told told you before, you have to knock him out, but he doesn't have that much torpor. Um, like late game, when you get the Longneck Rifle and the Pugnacia Dog. Pugnacia has its own versions. I guess I should have talked about that too. Um, has its own version of the Trank Dart, which is really, really good. It, it goes into any of the bows. So your normal bow, your compound bow, and your crossbow it'll go into all of them and then it scales up with the damage of those bows and they're not they're really not that hard to make it just takes farming a lot of berries and we'll talk about farming berries when we get to the primal stable uh, the dart is actually is also very 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 really really good 
way better than the tank. Like, you want to be making these right now with my. This is the 100%. I have a, like a 700% gun with this dart. I think it does close to 300,000 torpor, which you need to try to knock out, like, let's say, a Giga like this. He has 400,000 torpor. So I'd have to shoot it twice. But you can see how that's, you know, way safer than using your primitive gun with vanilla tranks. Like, you're, he's going to eat you up easily. Because he's, like, when I got him, he was probably, like, 8, 12 or somewhere around there. And, like, you don't want to mess with those. But one way you could do it, does it work on you? No. Is combo your items with your dino. If, if like, if you have one like this, he's going to do torpor with your attacks. So it kind of doesn't make sense for him. But, like, let's say you have a Giganto or a Megaloceros because they're easy to tame. You can get on him. Use your... Can you not? Oh, I don't have it equipped. There you go. Use your weapon on them. So that Giga over there, let's say I have to shoot him five times. I really just want this Megalocero to be able to tank long enough for me to shoot it five times. Because I'm not the one that's going to take the damage the Megalocero is. And if things get bad, I could run away and heal him up. Same thing with this guy. So that's what I mean by comboing. You're using the health of the, the mount, but you, you can do a good amount of torpor, depending on your weapon you know that you're using. But that is definitely a strategy that I would use to try to get you to the mid game here. Can I put this away? Put it away. And the mid game is to try to kill this guy. They don't have that much health. Actually, this is not the real Ancient Rex. The Ancient Rex has maybe 20 to 30,000. But if you put enough points into this guy, um, even these guys, if you put enough points in them, they can do that much damage in one hit. You'd have to put a lot, but it is possible. So killing one of them isn't isn't going to be that difficult. Finding him is a little bit more. They're around the area like where Gigas will spawn, so you have to be able to survive in that sort of area. So you get him, you get your kibble, and that lets you tame one of these, a primal. Primals are they're obviously the next tier, so they're going to be stronger, bigger, faster, all that. But they also have a little bit of this is the primal trike. He has cannons on his head, and they're fully functional cannons. Like, they're it's a ranged attack on a track. They're fully functional. And, uh, uh, of course, they have their regular attacks. And the gather stone. But to get one, you need to be able to do... Like, for him, it's close to 70,000. That's why the Super Spyglass is so good. You can kind of damage check how much damage... Can you do how much torpor can you do? You know, you try it. Um, another, where's my bear? I don't know why you're over here, bear. You should have been over here with the other. Uh, the bear is one of my favorite because a, you can see like nothing blocks your way. Do you guys not hate that? I hate that. I hate how things some of your dinos will block your vision, especially like when you go to the spyglass and you can't see past them. I hate them. Um, but you can attack off. Well. Pugnation does not have a spirit track. That's from another mod. You, that's my remote. There it is. Fourth times a charm. You, you could uh, attack off a bear. The bear could be really, really tanky. And if you get in trouble, you could attack with the bear. And you know they're going to do the damage. You think a vanilla bear does damage. A Pugnation bear. You put tons of points in. Tons of health. 100,000 health in a few in a few clicks. Like he's gonna be super tanky. That's why I got him here. Um, I don't. He's. I don't think. No, he's not passive tame. I don't want to tell you he's passive tame. Then you go up to him um, because they will aggro if you get too close. So yeah. So he counts as mid game. Like you have to be able to survive their damage and knock them out by using these guys over here. So let's get back to primals. You saw this guy. He has a working cannon. This guy is utility. This is one of my first primals that that I like to get. You see his mohawk? You can change the color of its mohawk with the, like, the C button, kind of like the C attack. Each color corresponds to a berry. Um, narco berries, which is what I use it for. That means he's going to collect only narco berries. Well, not only narco berries. You saw he still got the seeds and like thatch and stuff. 
But of the berries, he only got narco. Only narco berries. He changed the color. Like you'd only get azul berries. You'd only get um, amar berries. So that's very handy. So when I get a kibble, this is one of the first primals I try to get. Um, you could make this primal a really good battle uh, battle mount because you're going to need a pretty good battle mount to get to the next level tier, which is the prime evils. This is a primal griffin, really just a regular griffin, but it has uh, like a I call it a napalm attack when you dive bomb the ground. So not much utility, just a lot of damage. Uh, Talicoleo, I actually don't know if he does anything other than a normal Talicoleo. I think they buffed him so he can pounce off walls and like attack bigger things or something. I've never, I haven't played with them since the buff. But this is an example. This is the tier of Dino that you could potentially use to try to kill Gigas and try to kill. You might try to get a boss. Actually, I tested it on this guy, Primal Spino. He has a ranged spike attack. It's kind of hard to see. It's raining again. There, you can see it. He does a ranged spike attack. Pretty decent damage too. And like other Spinos, he has a fast, uh, a fast attack, so his DPS is high. So he hits really hard. I pumped his health so he could tank, and I, wait, I, I haven't cleaned him out. But like in here, this volcanic. Uh, Leggings I got from a boss. Like I was able to use this tier to kill bosses. But that's not the only way to do it. So what's the next tier? Primevals. I don't I unfortunately I don't have examples of those. They're kind of rare. Primevals okay, you need they drop an energy. If you kill them, they drop an energy. You need at least one, so you need to at least kill one. Then you can make a satiating nutriment. I don't know if it's worth showing you. Maybe I can just show you in here. So you put this in the workbench, and you, and you can see the, the ingredients takes a prime meat, primal meat, which you get from killing any primal, and there's, pe there's plenty of those. So you, you should have no problem getting that meat. The energy you only get from primevals. So you kill a primeval, get this energy, make the satiating nutriment, and then that is the kibble to tame a primeval. And primeval, there are things like the phoenix, the dragon, the dodo rex, the um, dodo wyvern, the Endom, the broodmother. I may be missing one or two. Dark Shadow, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I'm doing this live on Twitch. So, Dark Shadow, following. I'm making a YouTube video right now. So, say hi to YouTube if I don't edit you out, that is. So, yeah, you could do it. You could kill a boss with this. This tier of Dino, but if you get the next tier, the the Prime Evil, it's much much easier, much much easier. The Dragon alone will be able to kill Spine Breaker, which is the last one. This, these these primals right here may not go well with Spine Breaker. I think you could do it. It might be worth it. it you might go through a lot of health, um, but you're better off getting the next tier, the Prime Evil. Can you join me? I'm playing single player, Dark. It's just me playing a single player by myself in the fog, in the dark, trying to make a video. I think I could get rid of the fog at least. Let me do that for you guys. I know it's not very exciting for the video, but yeah, that's better. So, the, like, just to recap that route really quick. YouTube is the same name, Soul Ray Games. Uh, YouTube, where I'm actually streaming there too. I'm multi-streaming. How's that? Um, where was I? Okay, so early game, get these guys, get these guys to help you tame stuff, upgrade your taming gear, get a middle, I mean, you could kill this Ancient Rex with one of these, that's fine, but you, it's way easier if you get a, a, a middle game sort of dino like these guys, because these guys will help you survive the area, so you can fight the Gigas and the other Primals, and if there's Primevals there, you, you're these guys may not survive that these guys the middle guys will so you kill these you get the kibble the kibble you tame I mean you could get one to three and there's multiple ancient rex it's not like only one ancient rex there's gonna be multiple so you can get a handful of kibble 
and get a handful of primals. If you get a nice beefy one like the Spinosaur, you could use that to kill bosses. These guys will make good battle mounts. You might be able to kill a boss with this. He's slow, but he's going to hit hard. He's going to have a lot of health. This guy, hit. he might not have as much health, but he's going to hit uh, harder. Like, it's kind of... Um, it, like it makes sense, right? Like you'd expect a primal to have more health than a Thalicoleo, but a Thalicoleo would do more damage. Like it, it kind of follows that same thing. But again, you have control of what stats you're going to pump. You could totally make this guy have like a million health. He might not hit that hard, but you could do it. Totally. Once you get the prime, the primal, you can totally tank a primeval because you have to knock out a primeval to tame it, right? So how do you do that? You could use the same method that I said earlier, only this time I did it again. You're going to use the gun. You, by this time, you should have a rifle upgraded with Pugnacia darts that's doing 200, 300,000 torpor per shot. So, kill this guy, two shot, no problem. Getting other primals, easy. Getting a primeval, it's going to, they have about one and a half million, so it'll take you about five six seven shots depending on your gun but this guy could totally tank it so you're fine uh, so that's how i would recommend getting a prime move and i'm sorry i don't have examples of prime moves that you can see uh four wig thanks for following four wig yeah okay yeah i'm live right now so i'm chatting with my, my chat so if you're on youtube um yeah it's live so where was i yes that is not the only way. Oh wait, I haven't quite finished. Once you get the, the primeval with the methods that I'm showing you, you can now tank Spinebreaker. And I kind of want to tell you what to avoid, what not to avoid, but I also want you to find out for yourself. Like that's part of the boss fight, right? Like go in there, fight them, see what happens, right? One thing that I do guys, I don't know if you guys want to implore this strategy, I get me a uh, what are we trying to do? I give me a papa and I give me a mama, and then I make the babies. Right there, that's a baby. If I die with the baby, I just go back and make another one. So that's the strategy that I try to use. You could do that too. You could not do that. Fight, you know. I uh, you could try spy breaker with one of these. See how that goes. It might go well for you. It might not. But I, I, I do recommend just trying it for yourself. Like part of the fun is, is exploration in, in a mod, right? Like, what does this do? How do you do this? What does this button do? So, fight that guy with a, a primeval. The primeval will stand a chance. You will be able to do it. Carry some health potions with you. But that is a tier of dino that is designed to fight this guy. But we kind of skip. We actually did kind of skip. There's other bosses. Um... I actually don't have any. There is a tier of bosses that you can't you can't tame directly, like you can't uh, knock them out and tame them. But you kill them for their loot. They drop this whole armor set that I have. It's called volcanic. Um, you can't see the buff right now, but you get buffs. The buffs reset or restart. It's an arc thing. So I'll take them all off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save your dollar bills, guys. Take them off, and you get these buffs in the lower right-hand corner. I feel like I should have one more. What am I missing? The boots? Oh, I don't have the boots yet. I think I need to kill Mothra for that. I don't have that yet. Mothra is actually pretty hard. She's pretty hard. Or he. I don't want to assume Mothra's gender. But these buffs are like special perks to the armor. One big perk that I really like is that it has no durability. It doesn't matter how much you get hit, it's never going to break. Cool, right? Like that makes you want this armor. The buffs are things like increased underwater vision, um, increased stamina regen, no fall damage, increased melee, increased weight capacity, increased torpor. If I show you my torpor right now, I have a thousand because of this armor. So you killed those bosses. These are things like um, Kyrie's special pant is in there, the Kraken, and what are the boss? Uh, Mr. Fister, the developer of this mod 
made a boss named after him. It's basically just a model of of a of a male, you know, player, but he's huge and he hits really hard. He has like a fire fire punch and a lightning punch, but he's a boss in in this mod. Uh, so you know that the 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 creator of this mod likes to have fun. So let me get out. Am I in K code? Yeah, I'm K. Okay. okay, there we go. So those bosses are just pretty much for loot, but if you get an item from them. You can get an energy from every single primeval. There's about eight of them. And then you can make a sacrifice to summon them. So it might sound kind of complicated, it, a little bit. You basically kill every primeval to get an energy from one of each of them. It's kind of like collecting artifacts, like we're used to that, right? Like artifacts are things that we would use to summon bosses. It's almost the same thing. Except you create an item that you use on a primeval and it kills the primeval, but then you get a boss version, a tame version of that boss. That's how I got Spinebreaker. So you can get a boss before you get Spinebreaker, then use that boss to kill Spinebreaker. But the primevals are good enough. Like you could do these to kill the bosses, get a boss, and then use the boss to fight Spinebreaker. But guys, there is a shortcut to all of that. Okay, and it's pretty powerful. Like so powerful that, you know, don't maybe we don't want to tell Mr. Fester. He might nerf it. And you've been seeing him this whole video is that guy. This is a glacial version of a, of a Gigantosaurus. Um, because he has a special attack. He has an area of effect. I got to put a saddle back on. Or her, it's a her. Um, it's this area of effect damage that you saw did like 19,000, 6,000 or something else, probably a fish. But he's not any weaker or stronger than a normal Giga that you can get. And you don't have to go through all these steps. You don't have to kill him. The Ancient Rex. You don't have to kill him. So you can get one of these. So you can get a primeval. So you can fight a boss. So you can kill him. You can just go directly to him. Um, how would you do that? Well, they hit really hard. So it would be up to you and how brave you are to take him on. You could use a bear with an upgraded gun, like I said, and try it that way but you need to knock him out before he kills your bear another way is using animals like these and there's also a hell horse you can get it's called a hell horse it looks like a a horse with no skin it also does the same attack it does torpor so if you can knock out the giga before it kills you you can get a giga and of course you could use the old classic let me sit on this cliff while i shoot you with impunity you could do that and once you get the Giga, you can just tame it with meat, any meat, regular old meat. Use the the stats that we were talking about earlier. I got this guy to 1 million. His his health doesn't go up as much as other, other uh, creatures. But I found 1 million is enough. Alongside with an upgraded saddle. And tons of damage. This guy does 1.4 million damage per bite and again you just need to be able to knock it out and tame it with meat and you get something that can do 1.4 million more maybe more if you invest more points into into melee that is enough to kill Swyraker so early game survive get yourself some dinos that could like mid game the bear, the Therizino, or just cheese, uh, not cheese, you know, use creative methods to tame a Giga. Um, of course, you have to be able to ride it. That helps you yeah. because, you know, the saddle helps being, being able to ride it. So you, you can attack faster, you can heal it, and then you can just get Spine Breaker. Like that is a direct route to Spine Breaker. So that's, I think that's, oh, I accidentally killed that turtle. Sorry, turtle.
So that's pretty much it, I think. I think that's all I wanted to showcase. It's just, um, you know, a way for people, when they're out there playing Pugnesia, they might think, you know what, here's a herb herbivore. Can I use it for something? Sure. The trike makes a good mid-game battle mount. A regular, normal, vanilla trike. It does so much for you. The Therizino, also a bear. Those are all like vanilla type dinos that you could use to kill prime evils. Like right away. But maybe someone who's new with, with Pugnesia may not realize that. Or, you know, may think there's only one way to get your Spinebreaker. And it's difficult and it's long and it's a lot of farming. And it's actually not. But again, I implore you guys to not just make a beeline to Spinebreaker and then feel like there's nothing left to do. There's so much with the mod. Like, I, um, I could showcase so many other special dinos. Here's a zombie Calicotherium. No saddle. I actually made your saddle. I don't know what I did with your saddle. But there's so much to explore. These Conflagrant Dodos, they poop gasoline. So much creativity put into this mod. And it's so beautiful. Look at all these colors. Okay, those guys are not Pugnacia. These are Primal Fear. See, you could tell the difference. If this was a Primal Fear guy, his health would be full because they heal faster. That is a, also Primal Fear Griffin. And to show you the difference, not to like say Primal Fear isn't is bad or anything, but like the speed and the turning radius is not like crisp like Pugnacia is. Could you land? Thank you. Here's here's my mama and papa Giga. In case my Giga died, I got mama and papa there. Argies again. You can make super Argies just by pumping their stats. Fun dinos. Like you can ride these. You can pump speed and make these guys your mount for speed. They could actually do quite a bit of damage. I mean, you're not going to take a Giga on with it, but you could do quite a bit of damage. Um, you could put things in these guys' hands. Like you can see that guy carrying a, a Trank Spear. You could put all kinds of things in their hand. Uh, like just the creativity that goes into the mod. And he's always updating. He's always adding new fun things. So that's why Pugnacia is like the first uh, mod that... I install so anyway just so I won't make this video any longer than it should be I think I made my point if you guys want a spine breaker I gave you some tips tricks strategies tools whatever you want to call it to try to get them and I I think that's gonna co conclude the video thanks everyone for watching I'm hoping this goes on YouTube and um, I edit it well enough so yeah